Hi, it's Julie Davison. Today I'm going to show you how to make this floating pop-up card using the Mosaic Madness stamp set. When you open it up, it's got these little pop-up mosaics and they're kind of floating with the little window sheet there. This is one of the cards in my Stamp of the Month Club for June. I chose the Mosaic Madness stamp set, so when you join the club you get a new Clearmount stamp set each month and three completely finished hand stamped cards for your inspiration. Here are the other two using that stamp set that my club members got this month. But today I'm going to show you how to make this one, which was the third card in that series. And um, we're going to start with two pieces of strawberry slush cardstock. These are four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's a quarter sheet of cardstock. And I scored it um, from one end at one quarter inch. So I've got just a score line of both of those. I'm going to use sticky strip um, and put a piece on both of the scored ends and then just fold it so that the sticky strip side is out. And that's these are going to be the two sides of our cards. I stamped the mosaic here in pumpkin pie and I'm going to use the mosaic punch to punch those out. So for the mosaics that are going to float on the inside, you need two mosaics for each. We're just going to take snail adhesive on both mosaic punches and we're going to sandwich them together with the window sheet in between. Like that. Ding. You end up with, and I did these in different lengths so that they would kind of um, vary in height on the card. So next we're going to do is we're going to take that sticky strip off and we're going to go ahead and start lining up our mosaics. So the window sheet is sticking to the sticky strip and I'm going to do the ends in the middle first and that will help me line up the other two. When you put them on the end, make sure that they're not going over where the edge of the card will be, otherwise your mosaic will stick out and um, stick out from the finished card. And number five over here. Okay, so we've got them all in that sticky strip flap. Next we're going to take the other piece and peel off the red line from the sticky strip. And I find the easiest way to do this is to set them both down on the table and then just kind of sandwich them together. You can kind of close it and get a good, good press on it to make sure that those are stuck together. This can be a little un unsightly if it doesn't line up quite right, so we're just going to fix that by adding a little scallop border. And this is a piece of daffodil cardstock, and I, um, I'm using the scallop edge punch. Now, you want to make sure that um, your scallops are going to line up the same way. So you have one on either side, and you want the scallop bumps to match. So um, here's a tip. Let's start with the end in the middle of a scallop. And you can see right here on the edge where that middle is going to be. So I just kind of put it right there and punch. And then you line up what you've punched with the, the guide and keep going down, down the way until you've finished the entire piece. So, right, so we got both of our scallop punches and we're just going to use some snail adhesive. And then we're going to stick them to the inside of the card right over the little lip that came up just to give it a decorative edge there. And then again you can close the card to kind of give some pressure and make sure that those adhere nicely. And then we're going to use a little designer paper from the um, Quattro Fancy designer paper that coordinates with the Mosaic Madness set. And I stamped part of the really good greetings here. This is the inside part and I just did a little flag cut on those ends. And so that's the inside of our card. Then we're going to close it and decorate the front. I have another piece of the Quattro Fancy designer paper. This kind of brings all of the colors that I use together. Um, 
on the, the cards. So this is um, Pool Party, Pumpkin Pie, Strawberry Slush, Daffodil Delight, and Island Indigo. I've got another little piece of cardstock here. I'm going to use a strawberry um, slush ink and we're going to stamp this border from the Mosaic Madness stamp set. The right side there. And then we'll put our greeting on. Finally, a day that's really all about you from the really good greeting set. And this, and then the inside said, and it's all really good. As opposed to being bad. <laughs> now we're going to add our mosaics here, which I've pre stamped. To finish out the card, of course, a little bling. Use the itty bitty punch pack for that little flower. So there's our finished card. A cute little outside, and then the floating pop ups on the inside with the Mosaic Madness stamp set. There you go. I hope you'll try this card at home. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping!